what is this right here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know guys. You're just gonna have to look at that because I don't know what the hair's doing. Um, yeah, happy Saturday. <laughs> it's probably like one, it's almost two o'clock actually. I have been up since eight. The cleaning ladies needed to come today because they normally come on Tuesday and they said they weren't working on Tuesday. I'm assuming it's because Memorial Day is Monday and they wanted to have a good time with their friends and family and didn't want to be at my house bright and early on Tuesday. So at the last minute, well, I mean, kind of the last minute, but yesterday evening, they asked if they can come this morning at 8.30, which they did, which meant I had to wait until they left to work out. And that happening just confirms that for me. Um, I've had people ask over the course of time, like how do I stay consistent with working out? And I am one of those people where it has to be the first thing that I do in the day, because if I do anything else, before working out, it is so easy for me to get distracted, discouraged, lazy. And so um, while they were cleaning downstairs, I was upstairs just laying on my bed, just on my phone waiting until they were done so I can work out. And it was so hard for me to get up, put on workout clothes and get the workout done. I did it, I got it done, but it was rough. So um, that's all that you've missed um, in terms of what I've been up to today. But I do have some exciting news that I can share. Um, and that is, I am going to be traveling to Spain in December of 2022. So not this coming December, but the December afterwards. It's gonna be uh, the week, I think it's gonna be my first week of winter break. It may even be a couple days leading into it. I might have to take a day off or two. I'm not sure, but I'm going to be traveling to Spain as a trip leader with a organization called Teach With Love. This organization actually um, was sponsoring some um, tickets to a very small little teaching conference or teaching gathering that I was organizing with Megan from Too Cool for Middle School, Stacy at the Donut Loving Teacher, and Z Zarina from Little Upbeat Class that we had to since cancel because of COVID. And so they had sponsored um, sponsored a few people getting tickets to come to that, that little gathering that we were trying to organize. Um, and so I know the person that's in charge of the organization, her name is Taina, and I've not known her for a couple of years. And so when the opportunity came for me to lead a trip to Spain, I was all for it. Um, her organization, she's running it with another woman named Patrice, and they are all about really about providing cultural immersion experiences for anyone who's interested and also giving back to the community. So proceeds from people that book trips through Teach With Love, they take those proceeds and they put it back out into the community. So that's super exciting. Um, the trip is officially open and live for you to book. Any and everyone is welcome. You don't have to be a teacher to do it. Um, but there, I think I checked a little while ago and there's only 15 spots left and it is first come, first serve. Um, so I will make sure to leave the link to the website there so you can kind of take a look at what the company is about as well as take a look at some of the details for the trip. Cost-wise, I wanna say um, it's just shy of $3,000 and you have to put a $300 deposit down. And then after that, you pay on it, you make payment arrangements that work for you. So it is very similar to what I did when I took my trip to Finland, not this past summer, but the summer before that. That was through a different company called Book Back Tours. Um, and just to clear it up, Teach With Love is not associated with Book Back Tours. There was a period of time where they were together and working, um, not, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't remember. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but there was a time where they were associated with one another, but now they are two separate entities. So I will be strictly um, traveling with Teach With Love. So it's not a part of Book Back Tours, but that is also another viable option if you're looking for travel opportunities that are kind of geared towards teachers as well. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I've been wanting to go to Spain since I was in college. I wanted to do a study abroad thing, but I never pursued it. I feel like at that time of my life, I wasn't super confident in myself and my approach to things was to not even try because I assumed I wouldn't get it. And that is the last memory or thought I remember having about applying for the study abroad abroad trip to Spain. So I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna start saving up because I want to just enjoy it. Um, 
and I'll talk more about it, I'm sure, as time goes on, but it's December of 2022, um, just before Christmas, like that week leading into Christmas, and I will leave the link to the website in the description box, and I also shared it on my Instagram account as well. So that has been the most exciting thing that has happened to me today. Um, currently, I'm waiting for some bacon to bake. I'm gonna have some bacon and eggs and a bagel. And do I have any plans today? No. Um, mentally, something that I'm like, I could work on this is just putting some things in my planner that I showed you guys weeks ago, the one that, um, I'm sorry, I just got really sad because I just realized I that was the week that I had to put Genesis down. So, maybe put some things in that planner for the year and that's all I have planned and I really wasn't expecting just the thought of that planner for me to get like choked up about Genesis and if you're curious about that um, I'm obviously doing better now than what I was at the very beginning but surprisingly I feel like now that I'm on summer break and I have a little bit more time just to be with my own thoughts I feel sadder about it because I have time to really think about it and honestly I have felt like I'm in some kind of a funk the past few days and I think some of it has to do with that like just having the time to really sit and like mourn the loss of Genesis and like normally I would be spending all this time with Genesis right now and holding her and cuddling her and snuggling with her and playing with her and <laughs> she would be getting on my nerves and she's not here and of course Riley's here and I am so appreciative of him being here but Riley is a different dog like he he definitely likes to you know get in my face and snuggle and cuddle but it's a different kind of um snuggle and cuddle with him so I, I do miss Genesis so yes um on that note <laughs> I think I need a moment to just be with my thoughts but I'm just basically making bacon I'm gonna eat something and then I might work on putting some things in that planner but then I might not I'm getting ready to watch the last two episodes of this is us also because I am behind so um that's what's going on so far I'll talk to you guys later. It's probably close to 7.30 right now. I'm obviously walking Riley. Um, since we last spoke, I basically have laid on the couch, taken a nap, eaten some food, and I just finished watching the Friends reunion, which was good. I think when I first heard that they were going to do a reunion, I, I literally thought it was gonna be like an episode. So there's always going to be a little part of me that's disappointed that it actually was not an episode and more of like a sit down, but it was great. And it reminded me of why I enjoyed that show so much. It just brings back good memories. Obviously it was funny. Um, it was one of the few shows that my dad allowed himself to laugh out loud to because my dad is a pretty tough critic. And then when I went to college, it's something that we would all watch together on Thursday nights in my dorm room. So there's that. Um, but also I did that and nothing much else. Like I said, I think just thinking about Genesis kind of brought me down a little bit. And what I'm supposed to do 
when I get home is cook. I don't feel like cooking, that's number one. Number two, I'm not super excited about this meal. I know it's gonna be good, it's a salmon dish, which is always good. But you know when you just want like something that's not healthy? That's kind of where I'm at. But I will probably make it because the salmon has been in the refrigerator for a little while, like a couple of days and it needs to be made. But honestly, I think after that, um, I think after that, I'm just gonna end the vlog. Or actually, after that, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm probably gonna watch, um, I kinda wanna watch the uh, Billie Eilish documentary on Apple TV. So I'll do that. I haven't done any work. I don't know if I will. So I'm gonna close the vlog here because I'm, I'm, I am a little down. <laughs> and so I might take some footage of me cooking but not much else beyond that. And if so, I'll be sure to share with you what I'm cooking because my dear friend Liza, <laughs> if she's watching, gets frustrated that I'll cook something and not tell you what it is all the time or taste every single thing on my plate. I don't know that I'll be doing a taste test. Sorry, Liza. But if I do take footage of me cooking, I will tell you what it is. So. You may or may not see me after this. Uh, we'll see. But uh, that's what's up right now. vlog in the living room at night <laughs> uh, because it's so dark but I pulled it together I cooked dinner it wasn't that bad um, it was a, a quick recipe uh, so here it is it is crispy salmon and like a couscous salad right there I have a little candle going so I feel nice and relaxed and I'm getting ready to watch episode two of The Handmaid's Tale because I never watched another episode after I watched the first one a few weeks ago. And that is really it. Sit down, enjoy the dinner, relax, and see what happens after that. But um, if you enjoyed today's vlog, as always, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you head over there, especially if you are interested in um, getting updates and information on the trip to Spain that I'm going to be taking next December. Um, but as always, I hope that you guys are well. And if you're not well, please be well. And I will see you. Is it, what's tomorrow? Sunday? I will see you tomorrow. But I won't be talking to you tomorrow. <laughs> so see you later. Bye. Bye.